everybody, welcome back to another modern gameplay video. Today we're playing a Blitz deck that used our Aqualog, took to a 5-0 finish in MTGO Modern League. So I know a lot of you guys are thinking, hey, Marin, I thought this was supposed to be a channel where you play Spice, not tier decks. And yes, this is what you would expect from Blitz, except there is one spicy thing that made it all worthwhile, and that is Myth Realized. We're playing this deck all because of Myth Realized. It's got to be awesome in this deck. I've seen Myth Realized in Modern probably like just a handful of times, maybe like three times per year in Modern, not too often. But whenever I see it, it's insane. It's like, why does nobody ever play this card? Myth Realize is super underrated. It grows in counters whenever you cast a non-creature spell and then you can activate it for one white, turn it into a fatty and swing with it. So it's basically a one mana creature that whenever you prowess, instead of getting prowess until end of turn, it just straight up gets a counter. It dodges board wipes. The only downside is that it can't attack unless you pay one white mana, which whatever. It, like this thing is going to get fat in here and just like dodge all the removal and be super sneaky and just keep on growing. And it's such a resilient threat. Like, I don't know why, first of all, I don't know why Blitz doesn't play it, but I don't know why it doesn't see play in modern in general. It just, it seems really good. And just from this one card alone is the reason we're playing a pretty much tier deck today. Um, so I don't really have to explain the rest. I will explain it in the deck tech momentarily, but it, it's what you would expect to blitz. So let's do it. And shout outs to our sponsors, TCG Player and Mana Traders for all of your Magic the Gathering needs. If you'd like to try today's deck out on paper, consider purchasing through our deck list link down below. That is our TCGplayer.com link and anything you purchase through that link really helps out the channel. It is the number one place on the internet to buy Magic the Gathering singles. And if you want to try today's deck out on Magic Online, consider signing up with Mana Traders in the link down below using the code Moon to save 15% off and you can rent today's deck and play along with us. And it is the most trusted and reliable Magic Online card rental service, the best way to play all the MTGO you want. And Shout out to all of our supporters over on Patreon. Their names have been scrolling down below. It's because of you guys, this channel is possible. So thank you very much for your support. If you would like to support on Patreon as well, the link is down below. And with that, let's jump right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. We are live here on Twitch. Got our deck freshly rented out courtesy of Mana Traders. This is Boros Blitz with Myth Realized, the most underrated Blitz card. We went over this in the intro. The rest of the deck, our one drops, our Monastery Swift Spear. Skullscar Mage, the typical. Abbot of Carol Keep is an additional prowess creature. And then uh, that's about it for our creatures. We got a bunch of like cantrips like Mana Morphos and Mistress Bobble, stuff that's free like Mutagenic Growth. And Lava Dark gives us two prowess triggers once we sack a mountain. Mana Morphos for free. Boros Charm is just a big old burn spell for some reach along with um, Lightning Bolt. Does this have Lava Spike? Can't believe this doesn't have Lava Spike. And Light of the Stage for some free card advantage. Crash through is a cantrip and gives our dudes trample. So it can't be blocked. We got a total of 18 lands. Our sideboard, we got a merge unscathed is our protection card. So if there's blockers in the way, you can get protection for two turns in a row with that. Uh, Path to Exiles, a uh, hard removal core firewalker for um, the mirror match. And then we got a braid as um, a braid is just a way to, you know, it's versatile. can hit creatures or artifacts, get rid of ensnaring bridge. Every aggro deck needs a way to deal with ensnaring bridge. And Loris is our companion. Start getting back Mishra's Bobbles and stuff that dies. And then Tormod's Crypt as another thing you can get back with Lurus to repeatedly exile the graveyard. And with that, we are ready to go on to the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. Got a game here against GD Kerplunk 03. Would you like to play first? Yes, I will. We are playing some Myth or some Blitz Realized. And this looks good. Let's keep it. You really can't get a bad Blitz hand unless it's got no lands. Even one landers are fine. It's got a play set of crash through and stuff. And function easy. Wait, I should have just got a basic mountain there. I didn't need a fetch and shock. It's okay though. I think I'm just gonna play the Abbot of Carol Keep for no value. I can get a zero drop like a Mishra's Bobble or a Mutagenic Growth. And I can't believe this deck doesn't have Lava Spike. I'd probably go with a 2 2 split on Lava Spike crash through at least. Like, it's weird seeing Prismatic Vista when Astrolabe doesn't exist anymore. Dude, I'm so tempted to, like, bolt that bird. I think I am. Let's play Myth Realize because we top decked it. And let's bolt the bird. Always yield. 
And then even when the game goes super long and grindy, like if you're playing, I've seen people play Myth Realize in Mentor decks before. And like when the game goes super long and grindy, you can just start paying the, the three ability on it to put counters on it yourself without even casting spells. It's huge. Imagine this in Mono White Devotion. Just put a heck of counters on it. And even when you cast things like Ruined Halo and Leyline and Nevermore and stuff, like all your Pillow Fort stuff, this thing will get huge. Ren. Okay, but at least that this is an, an X1. In the land back from their graveyard. Ooh, Lava Dart. Okay, I'm not going to play Abbott because I want to... Oh, you know what? I don't think I care about Ren. I don't think I care about Ren. Let's just get out the Abbott. Try to hit a free land or a free spell. And then next turn, we'll just go for lethal. As much as I like to play that, we cannot play it. Oh, but their Ren can tick down and kill my Abbott. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, they're definitely doing that, no doubt. Oh, oh no, they're getting back their thing. Okay, I'm happy with that. Is this like Teamer, like Oko? Is this banned cards, Tribal? Imagine like if no cards ever got banned from Modern and people were playing like Oko, Splinter Twain and I'll oh, throw up in mouth. Okay, they're Jund um, with birds. Jund with birds and Prismatic Vista. What, is, what world are we living in? Figured out the stuff this morning? Sweet. Hey, Command, killing that and making me discard a card. All right, let's discard Lava Dart because we can flash it back. All right, I'm going to go for lethal here. Ooh. Okay, I have to play the the Manamorphos first before I play the Swift Spear. We'll go red, red. Yay, inspiring vantage. Okay, Monastery Swift Spear. Crash through. And we'll also activate Myth Realized. Cantrip. Ooh, Mishra's Bobble. Activate Myth Realized. Lava Dart your face. Backing Sacred Foundry. Now it's five power as a resilient anti-board wipeable one drop. Oh my goodness. How much damage is that? Maven, one That's five maven, one plus maven, one six, eleven. Oh, the Marin and me. The Maven and me. Thank you, Hunter, for subscribing for three months in a row. Welcome back to the Marination. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you for your generosity. Aprish, great to see you again. Uh, so against giant wren birds shenanigans, I really don't know what I want. Tormod's Crypt, maybe, but I don't think I need it. Like, honestly, I don't want a sideboard at all here. Like, I don't know exactly what I have to desperately prepare for yet. So let's just, I mean, Emerge Unscathed can be decent, but being on the draw, I don't think I'm going to have the turn to, I don't, I'm not going to have the time to leave that up. But using an effective Emergence Gate can be pretty good. Pretty backbreaking if they like use a bolt and then we just counter it. And I even got Luris too for those late game grinds. Okay, this looks great. Let's keep that. This is a good little turnout if they don't deal with their Swifty by turn two. Good little. A little turn progression. Our turn three, if undealt with, is going to be explosive as heck.
Yay, diffuse hypers. That's a lot of damage. I gotcha, a dollar. Abundant growth. Are they a Lurus deck too? Like, what the heck? They gotta be, like, they're not a Lurus deck. Why do they have abundant growth? They're just passing, dude. All right, getting there for one. Play a mountain. Play a myth realized. Oh, I could have done that first. And a light of the stag with spectacle. And next turn, I can cast whatever spells I get off this. Hopefully, it's not an abbot. Hopefully, no two Joshua size metamorphos. Another myth realized. Don't mind if I do. And a free land drop as well. Just got in from work. About to head to bed in a sec. Been sleep. Oh, both of you guys go to bed around this time. Happy always comes to my stream and says he's going to sleep. Oh yeah, the opponent didn't hit their, their land drop. It's not like uh, the other one that you sacked to draw a card. What is it called? The, the unbridled growth. It's not like that. All right, they didn't hit their second land. That's unfortunate, but we were just getting some good stuff going. Like next turn, we were going to top deck a Soul Scar Mage. We're going to go Myth Realize Soul Scar Mage and then just like bolt them and get in and then like lava dart double activate myth realize get in for a bunch and that'll probably be lethal the next turn so this deck is really resilient i like it got a game here against ash and ghoul and we're going to be on the draw here with some blitz realized and this is keepable we got the myth realized and i can attack for three with it on turn two so if we don't if we get dot c's here i might instant poop okay good is it a mirror match okay so we're going up against goblin um goblin engineer all right deploy the myth the best part So they have to get the goblins probably gonna go and get their their uh semblance anvil go up to 22 lands and you won't draw any oh we're at 18 we're at 18 and we we're drawing a bunch All right, mills my mutagenic growth, spends an ancestral vision, so maybe it's not what I thought it was. All right, let's go with um, myth realized number two. Always yield. Crash through. And pass. And next turn, we can swing for a lot. Because we can, like, Metamorphose, Lava Dart, Flashback, Mutagenic Growth, Activate both Myth Realized, and swing for, like, we can get them down to, like, two. Like, we can hit them for a bunch. Maybe not two, but more like seven-ish, maybe less. Oh, no, they're getting a Chump Blocker. Oh, but I can, I can Lava Dart that. All right, uh, let's go mountain mama morphos. And let's go white, white. Activates. Oh, there's a Swifty. Okay, too late. I already committed.
I already committed. It's too late. I'll play Swifty next turn. It's Lava Dart there, chum blocker. And can I get lethal here by flashing back double Lava Dart and Mutagenic Growthing? That's... They put them to 16. Um... Put them to 16. And then I would get three extra counters on each dude. Maybe I can. Maybe I can get lethal here. Lava dart your face. Lava dart your face. Is that lethal? That might be. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I think it's one short. Oh, it's one short. Oh, no, but I can bolt them. Yeah, they're scooping it up. All right, cool. That was sick. So we're going up against... Um, well, they got two things there with that that growth spasm to get the alter the brood triggers. They just alter the brood, like probably get in like field of the dead, get a millis out a bunch. Um. All right. I want or firewalker doesn't seem bad because they're probably gonna sweep us with like angers and stuff. A braid can kill the uh, alter of the brood, which seems like the main part of their plan. But honestly, I'm just going to run it right back. Like, I don't think I need to change anything. Although, if I do get swept by an anger, um, I'm probably going to bring in the core firewalkers. And if Alter the Brood does combo off on me, I guess I'll bring in the Abrades. Welcome back. How goes stream? It's long. It's been a long stream. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I want to eat my dinner, my frozen dinner. Warm up a little bit of beans and Peas and carrots on the side. Uh, let's keep that. I can go light up the stage, find my second land, deploy the second soul scar. They got the turn one altar again. Play soul scar number one. Watery. Oh, they're five color. What are they doing? Oh, are they scape shifting to like mill us a bunch? Oh, they might be. Okay, go to combat. Swing. Uh, light up the stage. Please give me my lands. Oh, they milled two of my lands. Dang it. Okay, there's a land. Yeah, I feel like my life total is not relevant here, so let's just fetch and shock. Play that free soul scar. They milled two of my lands again. Stop milling my lands. Trigon Predator doesn't do much. I can bolt that also. Alright, um. Play a second soul scar. Bolt the Trigon Predator. Triple prowess it up. Swinging for four. If they tap out here, I might be able to get lethal just by double lava darting, double flashing back. Get a bunch of prowess. I can make my dudes all five power. Swing for 15. Oh yeah, they're tapping out. I'm, I'm going for lethal. Lava dart.
Yeah, they scoop it up. They see, like, I don't even think I have to play the second Lava Dart to get lethal. Just play in flashback that. These guys are each nine, nine power dudes. Yeah, and they be low enough to where they're dead. And I have to discard a card for each shrine. So it was just shrines. Oh, so when you have the, the green shrine, the one that makes a 1-1 a one -one spirit for each shrine you control, and that with Alter the Brood can get pretty nuts in the growth spasm and the stuff and the things. And they brought in Trigon Predator for my myth realized, obviously. Okay, I, I see you. It's pretty pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, uh, I feel like if we were a slower deck, they could have wrecked us. Like if we were playing the deck we were playing in the last video, um, they could have probably destroyed it with this. Because I see that the, this synergy, like this deck can get really explosive if you give it a few turns. Like it's only turn four, but if we got to like turn eight or nine, like they'd be doing some crazy shenanigans. Got a game here again. So Joshua, jo Joshua, Joshua O. Eight o two, and we're gonna be on the draw with some blitz realized, and I think we're gonna keep that one because all I gotta do is connect with Swifty, light up the stage to hit my second land. I got a crash through to cantrip as well, and then I got Manamorphose to help even more. And they got Bobble as well, telling us that they're probably on um, Shadow. Because it looks like Esper or Grixis or Soltai or Four Color. Probably taking Swifty, I would imagine. Swifty or Light at the Stage. Yeah, takes the Swifty. So suddenly our hand is sucky. All right, I like the second land. Second land is good. But all this burn is dangerous. If they get really low with their, their life total with the shadow stuff going on, then I can try to burn them out. But this deck, like, it's a Blitz deck that doesn't have Lava Spike, which is the one thing I don't agree with. I feel like it should have Lava Spike. I think that, like, having less burn, you know, like, we have Boros Charm, which is what normal Blitz didn't have. But still, Boros Charm, Bolt, Lava Dart. And there's only two Boros Charms. But I see the value of Crash Through. I've been destroyed by Crash Through more than once. Because of the trample it gives. It makes it so your opponents can't chump. Because chumping is huge. Staying alive against a big Blitz creature. Especially like a... Oh, I didn't fetch. Alright, well... To say especially like a kiln fiend that's what i meant to say lava dart your face and light up the stage and next turn hopefully we hit a creature here next turn we'll be able to do stuff yep there's our soul scar mage in a free land too all right that soul scar mage is going to be our key to victory just you wait as long as they don't got to push <laughs> Imagine getting striked for your own music. I know, right? It happens. It happens because you put a copyright claim on it so other people can copy it. And then when you use it, it sees you as somebody else for some reason. Because, like, it doesn't know that it's you. I don't know how YouTubers even do that. Like, unless you're the Vivo or the Topic. Thoughtseize again. I don't really care what they take here. They take Boros Charm. Boros Charm is going to be great. Alright, play Soul Scar. And I think I'm not going to play anything in my hand. I'm just going to save it all for next turn. 
and just try to just hit them for eight with this soul scar mage alone because i am drawing i'm cantripping twice with the the manamorphos in crash through oh no no dude and then i have the lava dar in the grave and the bobble and i was gonna prowse up so much get a one-shot kill well that sucks love you have a nice night sparky streams death shadow is here all right please deck please I can survive one hit. Just give me a creature. That's all I'm asking. Oh, that is a creature. Thank you. All right, pass turn. Just let them hit me down to four. Don't worry about it. If they got a battle rage, cool, we're dead. But if they don't, then I can try to go for lethal with this soul scar. It can happen. It can happen. Wait, just wait. Don't kill my junk. Don't do it, man. Oh, no. Flashback Thoughtsies. Flashback Thoughtsies. No. Why? Disrupt everything. All right. Sideboard time. Give me these Path to Exiles. And, uh, I guess that's it. Virgin's case is not terrible. Not terrible. I think I'm just gonna run it with the paths and cut, um, cut some random junk. But what random junk, though? Like, one light up the stage one mithrealized yeah like mithrealized one bobble one lava dart i don't know whatever cut three really good spells still cutting random stuff at this point i feel like mutagenic's good here um because we're trying to like get them dead as fast as possible Skyla or Nicholas, thank you so much for the follow. Um, Mulligan the No Creatures, keep that one. Throw away probably some Manamorphos because I think I'm just gonna commit everything to this Swift Spear on turn one. Do I value the damage? No, I think I throw away. Nah. Okay, you know what? I think let's throw away Manamorphos because I feel like they're going to thought seize me. And I want them to whiff. So throw away that. Scalding Tarn, crack it. Mountain. Swifty. Mutagenic. Mutagenic. Mishra's Bobble. Swing for nine. Let's stop on their upkeep. And bobble them, see what they're drawing. They're drawing a thought seat. That's what I wanted. Thought sees me, bro. See that my hand is empty. Or are they just gonna push our Swiss spear and kill us? Because if my Swiss spear dies, I'm out of it. Why do they fetch a basic island? Why do they have a basic island in shadow?
main phase thought scour. All right, give me this card draw. Give me light of the stage. Myth realize something. They had their own bobble. Wow. Hit nothing. I'd actually value an emergent scathe right about now. I probably should have brought that in. The heavily interactive deck. See, the mutagenic growths weren't really much worth it there because it just like they would have ended up at the same life total regardless. It didn't matter because they were gonna self-pain themselves if I didn't hurt them that much. They're one short of being able to Gurmang Angler, which I don't know why they didn't thought scour themselves. It made no sense. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good amount of damage on turn one. All right, they got their 4-4 Shadow. They hit another bobble, and I still cannot hit any spells. All right, I'm going to grab Luris. Although they are going to thought seize it. But at least I can get them to pay two life. Blood Crypt. Shocking. All right. Going for game here? Because they can just thought seize me and then team or battle rage. Oh, no, they're just going to bolt that. Are they going for it? Or are they leaving up Stubborn Denial? I think they are leaving up Stubborn Denial. All right, they took everything we got. We're in top deck mode now. Come on, swing at me. And have me top deck... Actually, I can't top deck anything to stay alive anymore because that whatever I get, I have to chump block. So yeah, it's just over. I'm not going to be able to top deck enough stuff to stay alive here. Shadow Goddess. I mean, I could have top decked a path. I could have top decked path, but I don't know what they had. I'm guessing they were holding up Stubborn Denial right there. Oh, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to top deck path for a while. Yeah, that was an unfortunate draw. Like, we got a pretty weak opener and had to mulligan. And I didn't want to mulligan again because... It's in fear of Thoughtseize, so I just had to empty my hand what I had there. So yeah, against a deck like that, and like... Because a deck like this, like, you need your one creature, and if your one creature dies, you're kind of screwed. And if they can, like, Thoughtseize... Like, if you deploy your first creature, and they Thoughtseize your second creature, and then kill your first one that you played, you are just doing nothing for a while. And a deck like Shadow or Jund are decks that can easily do just that. So it's kind of difficult matches. Got a game here against Curse Catcher 342, and we're going to be on the, uh, was this the play? Player of the draw. We're on the play. And uh, we're going to keep this hand and hope that our Soul Skarmage doesn't get bolted because I want to get in and get the light at the stage going. But this is really land heavy, but we shouldn't really get more lands because we're an 18 land deck and we already have four in our opener. So this uh, light at the stage should be pretty good. As I was saying, I think people fall asleep to my stream. Because, like, I can't use music because it's for YouTube. And so it would be copyright if I use music. And so that's, like, kind of why. So it's, like, really silent. All you hear is my voice, and it's, like, I don't know, I guess it puts people to sleep. Uh, but somebody did give me the idea that, like, maybe I can just, like, have my audio on separate tracks. Like, record my vocal audio through, like, maybe Audacity or something. And then I can have music during the stream, but when I go to edit the video, I only put in my voice so that I can, like, have music during the stream. That's a good idea. But having to place my separate audio track over the video would be kind of a nightmare when I chop up my videos. All right, Light of the Stag is me. 
a land and a lava dart. This isn't looking too good. I'm getting kind of flooded in an 18 land deck, which is pretty amazing. But I can spend the next turn getting Lurus, which I kind of want to just like spend the next turn getting Lurus rather than casting that free lava dart. Searing Blaze. All right, I'm going to save it. So we're going up against Burn. Dude, I drew another land. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get that free. Let's get that Luris. I'm not going to get that free Lava Dart. What is that? Is there a noise coming through my headphones? Hold on. Thought I heard of something. Usually head for bed myself around like an hour from now. Streams are nice and cozy. I like being able to hang out here with Maven. Not boring, calm. Oh yeah, like I would call these streams. I wouldn't call these streams boring. They're super chill and relaxing. Oh, thank you. Scalding Tarn. Pack it for a mountain. Play Luris. And I'm going to play Swift Spear over Soul Scar Mage because I have a feeling they're just going to straight up kill Luris. And I'd rather get the hasty thing now. Because if, like, I was, uh, if, like, I wasn't going up against Burn, I'd just get back with Soul Scar Mage so that I can make use of the, the, the haste on the Swift Spear next turn and lose the summoning sickness on the Soul Scar Mage. But I have a feeling that Luris will not survive through this turn. Oh, they even have a Ripple and Suspend that I didn't see because I was reading chat. So <laughs> that's definitely killing Luris. But at least that's not going in my face. Since you really, since you never really scream or swear, your streams are ideal to chill to or get to sleep. That's cool. I do have a little bit of background noise, like the Yankee AC in the corner. And uh, my fan is on low. Um, so I wish you, if it was completely silent and I had like a sure SM7B microphone, it would be even chiller. All right, there's no way this gets me more lands. All right, Soul Scar Mage. And I'm kind of, I kind of don't even want to cast that mutagenic growth because it requires life and I don't want to get myself in a double bolt range. So I'm going to say no to that mutagenic growth. Your producer and your audio seems fine. I'm using an AT2020 XLR running through a Scarlet Solo. Like, it's, it's a pretty cheap setup, but it works. But my ideal would be, I'd probably get a newer gen Scarlet, because I, I like Focus, right? Um, and then I would have a, a Shure SM7B. That's my dream mic right there. I don't care about anything more expensive. What if you did a dual mic setup so you get like the audio from all angles? Myth realized on top. I bet I'm getting Boros charmed. I wasn't about to chump there. Maybe I should have. I could have actually just blocked and mutagenic growthed. Because I was going to take two damage anyways. Alright, I guess I'm going for Mithrealized Beats. Um... This is super sketchy. Very, very, very sketchy. 
Uh, I know I played that last turn horrible. Very, very bad, because I could have cast that mutagenic grow those on suspend, but again, I was reading chat, so... I didn't do that. Um, I feel like I have to just leave Swiss Spear up to block this goblin guide, like... I feel like I don't have a choice. I mean, I could chum block with my myth realized. But do I really want to do that? I feel like it's in my best interest to get rid of this... this thing. Like, I can get him for five here and bring them to seven. And then jump block. You know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Because if they don't kill me... If they don't kill me, and like, say I top deck another light up the stage or like a crash through that gives me an metamorphose into a bolt, I can get them from seven. This is possible. All right, they're going to combat. I'm definitely chumping. Please show me a cantrip on top, not a bobble. Oh, they give me a free land. Okay, I'll take a free land. All right, chump. I have two draws off the top here. Come on, Manamorphose crash through. That's what I'm looking for. Oh no, they're killing my win condition. Okay, but at least that's not going in my face. Abbott, okay, that's a good draw. Good draw. Free card, free card. Swift Spear off the top. Some big Crayola. Crack it. All right, go attacking with the Swift Spear. And I get to trade off the Abbot for the Goblin Guide. And I got them at six, and I got them in a dangerous situation. And I drew another land, dude. I'm I've drawn like every land in my deck. How many lands are in my grave? Sun two sunbait canyons. And there's three fetches in hand, five lands in play. So that's and I fetched no times. None. So oh wait, I fetched once. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've seen eleven of my eighteen lands. There's only seven lands left in my thirty-eight card library. There's no way I'm gonna hit another land. No attacks. They're keeping up the blocks at all costs. Bobble. Thank you so much for the host, Hunter. I play Wood of Foothills. And I'm swinging... Um, I think I'm swinging Abbott here because I know they're trading. I know they're trading. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Okay, here we go. Draw. Wait, what do we see at the top? Oh, they have a lava spike bringing me to one. I hit a metamorphose though. If they don't have a second burn spell, this can be it. I just hit a dang crash through. Give me the dang crash through. Oh man, I played this game so terrible. I took two unnecessary damage and lost my soul scar mage for no reason when we should have won by now because I was reading chat. So here we go. Hold on. Before I catch up on chat, let me let me win here. Come on. Oh, there's my crash through. Come on. I need a bolt. Give me a bolt. Give me red, red. Oh, there's the bolt. Give me a second bolt. Give me a second bolt. A bobble. 
Oh, wait, I don't think this is lethal. Wait, it is lethal. It is lethal. Bolt your face and attack with trample. Heck yeah. Don't you dare be sandbagging this whole time to punch me in the face. Oh my goodness. That was as close as it gets. And now we have a solid sideboard for this. A solid sideboard. We got three copies of Core Firewalker. Um, Eddie, Skitty, thank you so much for the follow. Hello, I'm on ReChat. Permafrost, hello. Good to see you again. Cat the Exile's not all that. Emergent Scathe is not bad, but on the draw, I don't like it. A braid um, is okay. I kind of like a braid. No, I, I like a braid. Let's actually cut the, the aggressive stuff like Boros Charm. And I really don't like Mutagenic here. I don't want to pay the life. And uh, I think we run it like that. There's an easy solution to imagine, but... Chip tune music? Uh, no, I wouldn't have a, a background playlist. I, I used to have a background playlist for my videos, but I would every once in a while get a copyright claim on videos, and I'm not gonna have that happen anymore. I just can't, like... I would like to play that chill jazz like Evaros does, like my old teammate does. Um, however, that he he doesn't really... He puts it on YouTube, and, but YouTube's not his primary platform, so he doesn't mind putting music and getting copyright claims. Um, so he just does it. But he does always use that for streaming. And um, like I said, I could do the thing where I just record on a separate audio track and just put it in the video separately and just have music on stream, but only voice on videos. And that is a thing I could do, but it'd be a lot of extra editing which you gotta find ways to cut corners and, you know, make it easier for yourself. 10 lands of 18, yeah, we hit 11 of our 18 lands. It was crazy. Okay, there's a core firewalker, so I'm slamming this one. Um... I'll just fetch a tap land. I don't want to take unnecessarily unnecessary damage. Like I can play Mithrilas in turn three, no problem. Oh no, turn one creature, and a burn really wants a turn one creature, or else it doesn't deal damage super quick. All right, well, let's go Wooded Foothills and pass. We're gonna do the thing. Get our Sacred Foundry, and then play this Core Firewalker. That's gonna straight up win if they don't got a path. Hopefully they're not stream sniping and know what we got. Socketed foundry. All right. Play this bad boy. That's going to straight up win if they don't have a path. This is like one card beat burn, I swear. This thing is nuts against burn. It's like so, like when you're playing burn and they play a core firewalker, you just have the hardest time winning ever. So difficult. Oh, they have the path. No. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, no. But still, we're at 19. They haven't touched us in this turn three. So we're st we still should have a chance. There's the goblin. How did they know we were going to have it? How did they know? Monastery Swift Spear. All right, well, let's go. Mountain. Mithrealized. Swift Spear. And a braid. All right, I'm feeling okay. Like, they got two lands. They're a little bit plunked up with spells and 
We're still at a healthy 17 on turn 4, so... But the thing is, I feel like they're gonna kill my Swift Spirit. I might want, not want to activate my Myth Realized until I have enough mana. Okay, that, that Eidolon is fine, because I got an Abrade for that. Until I have uh, enough counters on it so that's out of bolt range. Um... Ooh, another Myth Realized. All right. I'm gonna take an extra uh, pain playing a second Myth Realized. You know, I think I have to value my life total. So let's just kill this first. I have to value my life total. Like, I, I, it's, I could have gotten a counter in the second Myth Realized, but that's just being greedy. Alright, play this, fetch for a basic mountain, crash through, lava dart, alright, well let's activate this right here, well lava dart next turn, get all the prowess triggers, let's go attack him for 8, bring them down to 9, dude, myth realize so good! It's so good. See, look, I had to prowess up like crazy to get that Swiss Spear up to four power. This one just stays four power, and it keeps growing more. Next turn, I'm gonna get double prowess on it with the Lava Dart. Activate them both. I'm gonna attack for six here and three here, and then if I draw another spell off top, even more. It's gonna be so great. Two days ago, Facebook hit you with the copyright violation on your own music. That's weird. Got to talk to them about that. Abbott? Free Bobble? I'm going to go for lethal here. Lava dart your face. Flashback lava dart on your face. What are they going to do? They got another path. Lightning Helixes on the... Okay, you should have definitely done that on the Swiss Spear before it grew. I don't know what was their problem doing that. But now let us turn on this Myth Realize. And we still got lethal. Didn't matter that they gained three. Yeah, they should have definitely killed my Swiss Spear before it prowessed up. I think that's where they went wrong. But even if they did, I'd be knocking them down to three here. And then... Yeah, I still have these fat Myth Realized. So good, dude. Why didn't they not play this card? All right, GG. Taking down Burn. Basically the mirror. Got a game here against I Rock with their... What is the Boros Fox again? Car Carametra? Car Caru Carua? Carua? Um, Borealis. I forget the red fox, the red white fox's name. Uh, we're playing some Blitz Realized, and this is going to be a keep. I would like to top that a second land. But I got Crash Through as a cantrip, and then once I find my second land, Manamorphos should help me find my third. I don't know if I want to just, like, slam Crash Through next turn looking for a land. I might want to just play Myth Realized and get that middle game set up. That thing will get fat over the course of time. Zerda, that's the one. Okay, it's a mirror match. They could have mutagenic growth. Oh, this is sketchy. I don't know, like, maybe I should just Lava Darn kill this now, but... I feel like I gotta go for this. Going, I mean, attacking right here is probably very much a risk. 
because they could have their own mutagenic growths, but I'm gonna go for it. I mean, this is a very YOLO matchup. It's like hyper aggro v hyper aggro. There's no playing safe. It's like you go for it and they go for it. Whoever gets it first wins, but if they hit their second land here, then they're probably winning because it's as if they were on the play. All right, yeah, they're winning. Um, and you really want to win game one against Blitzer Burn because you really want to make sure that you're on the play in game three. And since we're not winning game one here, our odds are extremely low. Although they could be better because we have three copies of uh, four Firewalker in the sideboard, which will help a lot. You never know. I, I could still get back in it if I hit a land here, and I'm definitely got a lava double lava dart one of these guys and shrink them, or not not shrink them, but take them out. And I've actually got to kill that thing and like shrunk it with counters because I have my soul scrimmage. I didn't realize. And since I'm not hitting my land drops, you know what? How about we YOLO this crash through, and if it doesn't get me a land, I scoop. I feel like that's what I want to do because I like there's little hope for this game, so let's just YOLO it. And if I don't hit my land here, I'm scooping. Didn't hit my land. All right, well, technically I could top deck a land the next turn and just go bolt this, double lava dart that, get them off the battlefield. So let's wait a second. Not over yet. Although they do have the potential to get lethal here. Like just double metamorphose, light up the stage, lava dart me twice. Like they definitely have very massive lethal potential right now. The Mavenation now? Maybe. But the reason the marination was the thing is because that's a real word. To become marinated in sauce. This here. That's the sauce. Lava spike. We're gonna hit down to seven, six, uh five. We're gonna hit down to five here. Come on, land. Dude. Yeah, that's game. Well, sometimes you just don't draw a second land. But now we get three four firewalkers that they have no way to deal with. We get some more removal in path and a braid. We can cut Boros Charm, and we can cut Mutagenic Growth, and uh, we can cut one Light of the Stage, maybe our Singleton Abbot because it dies to Lava Spike, we one Bobble and run it like that. Hey, Jared. Hey, Rainy Day. So I didn't really follow anything recently. Why the name change? This is my Sona name. Is it Jared or is it, is it Jaw Red or is it Yaw Red? Dude, I can't wait to, I can't wait to eat. So hungry, I've been streaming for 6 hours and 18 minutes. Honestly, time flew by a lot quicker than uh, I thought. Because it kind of feels like I've been only streaming 4 hours. It just feels like just a second ago I started the stream. <laughs> like to play first? Yes. I mean, as much as I love to have a core firewalker, this hand's actually pretty good. Whatever creature they play, I can take out. I can. I think I'm just gonna go Swiss Spear into Swiss Spear, do nothing, 
into Manamorpho's a braid. Basic Mountain, Swifty. Getting there for one. Here we go. Here we go, Bell Striker. A few streamers I follow renamed in like the last month or so. I did it because Lino was brave enough to do it. I was like, I was like kind of like fearing the whole time. Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Like, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And then Lino did it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. All right, let's play another Swifty. Thank goodness we drew a tapped white source so we don't have to go fetching and shocking for it. Please don't bolt both of my dudes. Because next turn's going to be a great turn if you don't bolt any of my dudes. But they have not only bolt, but burst lightning. And maybe they even have searing blazes in the sideboard, which I'm hoping not. Don't searing blaze. Or searing blood. No, dude, stop. Okay. Mama Morphos. There's still potential. Just don't don't do it. Don't do what I think you're gonna do. Oh, don't bolt. Don't you dare. Okay, lava spike. That hurts, but I'm happy I'm keeping my creatures. Most streamers you uh you follow have switched to playing Fall Guys. Yeah, like everybody's playing that now. I don't I don't play it because I don't have the I'm not gonna buy that. I like, I'm not gonna spend money on that because like I gotta save my money because like I'm trying to move out. And then also I think it's only on PS4. I don't have PS4. I wish I had an SSG right about now. Lava Dart. Oh, dude, can I get lethal? Maybe I can get lethal here. A braid, one of their guys. Let me see. I, I might be able to, like with playing flashback Lava Dart, get them to 14. No, I can get them to two here. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to kill their Swift Spear. I feel like that's the safest play is making sure they have nothing to attack us with, at least hastily. And I doubt they have a third Swift Spirit in their hand. And now we can attack them for 12 down to 4 and have lethal on board. I feel like that should do it. Because there's no way they're going to double bolt lava spike me. If they did, they'd be the luckiest person in the world. They'd be so lucky that they can jump out of a plane. And then at the moment they're about to hit the ground, solid clouds would magically exist for a second and they would land on it comfortably. And then magic clouds would suddenly not exist and then go away. That's how lucky they would be. <laughs> All right, um, they scoop it up. We're going on to game three. Now they get to be on the play. This is why I said, if you're going up against Blitz or Burn, it's always important to win the die roll and win game one. Three, you'd be on the play, but now they're on the play. And you saw how close that was, even though we were on the play. Why? The meteorite back. We got to do good. And we have to hit our core Firewalkers. I feel like on the draw, especially, on game three, we have to hit a core firewalker or two, or we're just there's no chance, like really none. Um, so I think I have to mulligan for one. I really have, I hope I just get three of them. Okay, as much as this has a lot of cantrips and potential to find one, there isn't one, and I'm not gonna chance it. Like, we're not winning unless, but then again, hold on, we have a bolt. 
we have a bolt so we can kill their first threat and then cantrip twice oh my goodness this is so tempting this is so tempting i can cantrip twice kill their first dude oh what to do what to do i'm such i'm in such distraught uh i have i have a dice here do we do a die roll evens odds all right evens we're keeping it odds we're actually no let's do a card flip the, the classic all right i have an s and scatter right here scatter and if it's heads we're keeping it if it's tails we're mulling okay it fell under the table evens we're keeping odds we're mulling it landed sideways evens we're keeping all right this is super sketch i have a i have a bad feeling about this If they mutagenic growth in response to my bolt and save their guy, I'm gonna be sad. All right, get a basic mountain, bolt their swifty. Mishra's bobble. Crack it. They have a burst lightning on top. Please don't have a second creature. And please give me the core firewalker. Okay, at least it's another cantrip. Swiss don't have a third creature. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to play Sunbake Canyon here because I need double white. I need double white for um for Firewalker. Okay, Path to Exile is pretty good. Do I attempt? I'm going to attempt to double Lava Dart this. Screw it. I don't think they have a bolt up. If they had a bolt, they would have used it. Please. Please. Just please work. Just please work. Just please work. Oh no. They had a lot. They, why didn't they Lava Dart my face? Dude, why didn't they just lava dart my face when they attacked? That was godlike. Was that in their graveyard the whole time? And why didn't that show up as a different art for a second? And why is there suddenly a lava dart in my exile? Oh, that's the one that I casted. And they have a dragon claw. Oh, this is turned into a disaster. I can still win though if I if I hit a core firewalker. Okay, my own Swifty. I don't care about them getting life. All I care about is me staying alive. <laughs> like once I hit the firewalker, I'm good. Also, if they run out of a uh, burn for creatures and I get my Luris out, I can also stay alive. What are they doing? They're bolting my Swifty. Okay, they're burst lightning my Swift. They have one card left. I have a serious opportunity to get back Luris. Or to get Luris in the first place. Don't. Oh no, it's a Kiln Fiend. The scariest threat of all. That ain't good for us. Eh. 
and firewalker nope uh oh dude i think i have to go for that lava dart not gonna lie Yeah, I think I have to I think I have to lava dart this thing down. Like I can't let it hit me. They have no Luris in their companion slot, so if I can get them to pass the turn to me without playing a creature, I feel comfortable. Like I'm at a healthy life total. It's turn five. Oh, they're cracking a sunbaked canyon now. Uh oh. I really hope they're not a Bedlam Reveler version, but usually this version is the mono red version. Them. Crash through. Oh, they're looking. Please don't find it. Please don't find it. Yeah, they have Dragon's Claw sideboard. All right. They passed with no creature. I am grabbing this Luris right now so quick. And I do have a Swiss spear to get back. They're cracking their uh, fiery islet. Don't find a creature. Come on, pass it over again. Pass it over again. Oh, they're passing it over again. And I have an abrade for their dragon's claw. Not playing that yet, though, for sure. Get this dang Luris out here now. I could get back Swifty, but I'm getting back this bobble. I need to find this core firewalker now, like effing now. Come on. <laughs> They're firing a fiery islet off the top. It's another land. Oh. Okay, you know what? The crash through. Please. <laughs> Please. They are bolting me okay they're going after me now that's why i have to find it so quick don't 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 oh they had the bolt bolt lava spike is that what they have did i get punished for playing sunbaked canyon when i did i was like i need double white for the core firewalker i didn't know it was going to take this long to find one they just had triple bolt oh that is dumb oh no <laughs> Oh man, I should have just aggressively mulled, dude. I should have just aggressively mulliganed. Okay, let's draw a fresh hand of seven and let's say this would have been our mulligan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would have been sketchy. Dude, where the heck are core firewalkers? We brought in three copies. They're in there for the Blitz Mirror matchup. Dude, they're not even there. Did I even bring them in? They're not even there. They're not even there. They are not even there. Wow. Wow. What what the heck? Are they in? Okay, there's 12 cards left in the library. There is literally 12 cards left. Dude, look at that. They were in. They were at the very bottom. Wow. Yo. That's insane. They were at the bottom. <laughs> That's why you got a mulligan when you have that gut feeling. I knew that in game three, there was no way I was winning without mulliganing. Like, or without getting the core firewalker. I knew there was no way. But, bites you back sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta follow your gut and not get mana screwed in game one. So we ended up with three total wins. And my biggest regret was only in that mirror match when i didn't mulligan for core firewalker when i should have so i feel like that's the only reason we don't we didn't end up with four wins today um but yeah the deck performed pretty well and myth realized performed super good i think there was only one time i had it when it was like a late game top deck and was a one one that ended up getting path when i was just using it to survive and that was the one time like i mean any any other creature at that point would have been a horrible top deck anyways 
like wouldn't have done anything in any any way anyways so every time we had myth realize and use it for what it was for it was great it was like better than like the other guys swiss beer soul skirmish because it like its pumps stayed there and it just continued growing no matter if you pass a turn your, your your dude would just keep on getting bigger even though it starts at zero it didn't matter it would just get bigger and bigger and bigger and the fact that it drifts over to the next turn it, it defeats the downside of it starting at zero like it's awesome and i think it belongs in blitz and i think it belongs in modern like i feel like more modern decks should play it more modern decks definitely can run this card like even just 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 guy tempo just guy mid-range just guy control like if you're a just guy control deck with a bunch of sweepers you know run it because like this thing is immune to sweepers sweep the board then activate this and get in like it, it's no it's a no-brainer it's like an aggro fatty that you can run in a deck with sweepers like heck yeah run in your tempo just guy blue white decks and monastery mentor decks and any decks that have spells and snapcaster like oh man like people should play with this more like brew brew a deck with this if you're watching if you watch the video up to this point brew something with this do it go and do it no matter, no matter if it's just guy if it's in your favorite color combination just splash white for it do do something it's worth it's super worth <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new for the spiciest of gameplay every other day. Let me know a deck you want to see in the comments down below. Go check out the social media. Links are down below, as well as a link to Twitch. If you want to catch one of these live streams, we stream our Magic the Gathering gameplay all day long on Monday and variety through the rest of the week, Tuesday through Friday, if you want to come out and see some other content. If you want to try today's deck out for yourself, consider checking out our sponsors, TCG Player and Mana Traders, for all of your Magic the Gathering needs. If you want to try today's deck out in paper, consider purchasing through our deck list link down below. If that's our TCG player link and anything you purchase through that link really helps out the channel. It is the number one place on the internet to buy Magic the Gathering singles. And if you want to try the deck out in paper or non paper in uh, MTGO, consider signing up with Mana Traders and the link down below using the code Marin Moon to save 15% off and you can rent today's deck and play along with us. It is the most trusted and reliable Magic Online card rental service. The best way to play all the MTGO that you want. And um, shout out to all of our supporters over on Patreon for making this channel possible. I really appreciate you. And if you would like to support on Patreon as well, the link is down below. With that, I'm going to get on out here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.